Hello, this is Frank Neely from HeartlandDiaryUSA.com, bringing you news every conservative can use. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date. Well, this morning on This Week with George Stephanopoulos, Governor Kristi Noem of South Dakota was brought on to talk about COVID in the midst of the greatest crisis in the Republic for the last hundred years. Well, Governor Noem quickly dismissed the COVID question by sticking a stake into the heart of vampire Cuomo, who had preceded her on the show. You'll hear that very quickly. And then she turns, pivots to the constitutional crisis underway regarding the election between Biden and Trump. And here she makes what is a very forceful case for the fact that Stephanopoulos, ABC, and the rest of the mainstream media have coronated Joe Biden president when the results are actually not known. This is really what Republicans need to be doing. Thank God for Christy Nome. You can listen for yourself. Here it is. Right now, you just heard Governor Cuomo right there. Governor Nome, thanks for joining us this morning. COVID is rising in your state as well. Cases are up, hospitalizations are up, deaths are up. Are you prepared to work with President-elect Biden to get it under control? Well, it is a regional increase that we're seeing. We are testing more. And frankly, George, I'm not going to take advice from Governor Cuomo. He has the second worst death rate per 100,000 people in this nation. He's at 173 deaths per 100,000 per capita. South Dakota's at 54. Uh, I appreciated that President Trump gave us the flexibility to do the right thing in our state and will continue to do that. He let me do my job. Uh, but the other thing that I think is going on here, George, is that this is all premature. This is a premature conversation because we have not finished counting votes. There are states that have not been called. And back in 2000, Al Gore was given his day in court. We should give President Trump his day in court, let the process unfold. Because, George, we live in a republic. We are a government that gets its power from the consent of the governed. That is the people. They give their consent on Election Day. Election Day needs to be fair, honest, and transparent. And we need to be sure that we had an honest election before we decide who Governor, gets to Governor, be in the White House the next week. Governor morning. Gnomes, do you have any evidence that it wasn't an honest election? You heard about a tweet earlier this week saying it was rigged. Do you have any evidence at all of widespread fraud? I've spoken with Republican secretaries of state in Georgia in Arizona. I've spoken to Republican officials across the country. They have come up with zero evidence of widespread fraud. And that is not true. That is absolutely not true. People have signed legal documents, affidavits, stating that they saw illegal activities. And that is why we need to have this conversation in, in court. The New York Times itself said that there were clerical errors. If no you look at what happened in Michigan, fraud, Governor, that's uh, that we had different. computer glitches that changed Republican votes to Democrat votes. You look in Pennsylvania, dead people voted in Pennsylvania. So George, I don't know how widespread it is. I don't know if it'll change the outcome of the election, but why is everybody so scared just to have a fair election and find out? Uh, we gave Al Gore 37 days to run the process before we decided who was going to be president. Why would we not afford the 70 Point six million Americans that voted for President Trump the Governor, same consideration. If Joe Governor Biden, Nome. if Joe Biden really wants to unify this country, he would wait and make sure that we can prove we had a fair election. Governor Nome, Al Gore was behind by about five hundred votes in mm -hmm. one state, Florida. Joe Biden is ahead in all of the close states many by multiple parts. We have today. Ten, 10,000 votes in Georgia, 27,000 votes in Nevada, almost 20,000 votes in Arizona, more than 30,000 votes in Pennsylvania. That is not close. That is not within the margin that, that elections are usually turned around on. And many, many more states are in play this time around. And that's what I think is interesting is this declaration from some individuals saying it was an overwhelming victory for Joe Biden. It simply wasn't because you have so many of these states that are still in play. All I'm asking for, George, is that we don't break this country. When you break the process on which we elect our leaders, you will break America forever. So this isn't just about this election. This is about every election in the future. And the fact that the American people, the everyday people who get up and work hard, that are suffering through this pandemic, that have tragically lost family members, that they need to know at least, at least America still functions and we care about doing things right. It starts with providing evidence. You still have not provided that, but I'm afraid we're out of time today. Governor Noam, thanks for your time. Let the, pro let the process work and we will. We'll be right back.